Shot to the gut. Painful. I appreciate the help back there. Name's Avidus Ricks. Sorry if my methods seem extreme. Civilian life is... trying. Ryder, human pathfinder. You former military? A Spectre. Special tactics and reconnaissance. Did the Council's dirty work for 15 years. So you're used to being above the law. A well, good thing there are no laws in Andromeda, huh? The initiative was my retirement plan. Then Natanis hit the scourge and bam. Woke up here. What happened? Where's the Ark? No idea. Had to break out of my own damn stasis pod. A fall like that should have killed you. Now those pods are sturdier than they look. But most of the Turian population is still missing. Including Mason, our Pathfinder. He hasn't made it back to the Nexus. Knowing Mason, he's out there looking for me. Mason dedicated his life to Andromeda. He's too stubborn to die now. We need every Pathfinder we can get. The debris and stasis pods from the Tannis are scattered across the sector. Between the two of us, we should find something. The settlers here need your help. I'm a stopgap. Mason is the solution. Here's my frequency. Call when you find something. How are the other survivors holding up? They're in shock. Too busy surviving to grieve or take stock of what's happened. But when things eventually do calm down, it'll hit them. And it won't be pretty. Do the Rokar attack often? Only when they find us. Bad as they are, damn plants are the bigger danger. I keep telling the others not to eat anything raw, but when you're starving, logic's the first thing to go. You must have some great stories from your Spectre days. <laughs> not that I can tell. That's kind of the point of classified ops. Surely you can bend the rules after 600 years. Bending the rules? Yeah, that's what I thought being a Spectre was all about. Saren Arterius himself recommended me to the Council. Whatever their command, I carried it out without question. Saren? The rogue Spectre who led the Geth attack on the Citadel? If you believe the rumors, the Saren I knew was ruthless. Not crazy. But something made him snap. Everyone has a breaking point. I got out before I hit mine. Mason convinced me Andromeda was my chance to live outside the shadows. That's why I'm here. Are you and Mason close? We know each other well, yes. Did I say something wrong? No, sorry. Uh, I'm just not used to discussing my personal life. Take care, Avatus. Likewise, Ryder. I can't believe this is really happening. Thought we'd be stuck here forever, or until the aliens killed us. We built this camp from what remained of our stasis pod. If we leave, we can't abandon our wreckage. There's debris we couldn't get to out there. We have to take it with us. Anything from the crash belongs to the initiative. It'll go back to the Nexus with you. Good. No telling what's still intact. Don't want hostile aliens using it against us. If you find anything from Ark Natanis, tag it for recovery. Oh, and thank you. Like it's hard? Even we have trouble understanding remnant tech. Only a handful here can operate our own gates. It doesn't matter. You must leave. We do not entertain guests here. Kavarl's in decline. If you tell me about the lost monolith, I can help fix it. Reset the vault. With Ryder's help, Haval could be healed. Our birthplace restored. Isn't that worth something? It's lost. The memories of its location haven't been reclaimed. That's a strange choice of words. What do you mean by reclaiming memories? One may occasionally remember a past life, if the conditions are right. What do you mean? We believe in reincarnation, an unbroken thread. There was one, long ago, who had knowledge of the third monolith. So Rai, 
a champion of the Angara from before the scourge. Zorai's soul has returned and could be made to remember what it knew. But we have no contact with it. So you're saying there's some way we can make people remember their past lives? Souls retain within families. An object heirloom tied closely to that bloodline could cause memories to resurface. But it's not guaranteed. It has been known to happen on rare occasions in the past with other souls. The only known heirloom of Zarai's family rests in an area with active remnant. No one has survived the journey. But perhaps you, Zorai's soul, was reborn in Tavos, who is now a Roka. He recently returned to Haval on a mission. A Roka? Mm, that'll be difficult. I will send you the relevant coordinates. We considered Haval a lost cause. But perhaps now? There is hope. Tell me more about Zorai. The histories describe him as both scholar and soldier. He traveled the stars and gained knowledge from far off places. There are even accounts of him having knowledge of the remnant builders and their machines. And the third monolith? Our legends say that Zorai sought out the monoliths after the scourge came. He died. And it is unclear if he accomplished what he set out to do. You mentioned an heirloom, an object you think will bring Zorai's memories back? Souls retain within families. Sometimes the memories of the past can be recalled by an object meaningful to that family. We do not understand why or how this happens, and it has only happened on rare occasions. In all cases, the heirloom was ancient. Old Ankara tech from before the Sturge. Tell me more about your belief in reincarnation. The soul grows through many lifetimes. By seeing through different eyes, it gains wisdom. How do you grow if you don't remember? The growth of the soul is not like the growth of the mind. Memories are not required for the soul to develop. Some even argue that old memories are an unwelcome distraction. A person may become fixated on what was, and their soul consequently stagnates. Why do you remain secluded here? The chaos brought home by the scourge splintered our people and all but destroyed our civilization. Fear took hold. False beliefs about our predicament receded and began to influence and current thought in order to maintain the integrity of what they knew to be true. Four families left their community to come here. We've remained ever since. I'll go. Thank you for speaking to me. As death nears, it's harder to face the possibility that I might never see Amara again. Sorry to interrupt, but what's happened? Ahmad is ill. He hasn't got much time left. Ahmad, perhaps this stranger can help. If they've been to Palev, maybe they've seen something. I came from Palev, actually. The little research station. Research station? It used to be a large settlement. A dar. Amara moved them when she left Mithrava. Her love was overtaken by the jungle, remember? A few cycles ago, everyone left. Oh, yes. I, I remember now. But that means Amara's gone. There might still be a way to track her down. All Dara keep records, don't they? If there was an organized evacuation, they would have documented the process. And the records would state where she went. Pala, that's genius. Where would they keep those records? Likely some kind of administrative building. If it still stands, and the machines still work, it's a slim hope. I don't want to impose, stranger, but I would welcome any news of my sister. As Miss Lest you wander around with no supervision? You're interrupting our lesson. <sighs> Could use more interruptions. Sorry, I didn't mean to get in your way. And yet you're still here. As I was saying, the propulsion system that took Bashal to the skies was inspired by four remnant pieces. And that's just one. Much of our progress was prompted by the discovery of remnant artifacts. Where are these artifacts you're talking about? The few that still exist reside in Aya's repository. However, many have been lost. Though there are rumors that as wilds grow wilder, 
things long buried may be unearthed. It might be wise to study whatever we find. Something out there might give us an edge against the Ket. You believe Vangara learned crucial scientific ideas from the Remnant? It is not just belief. It is a matter of record. Some artifacts were even left in unfinished states, likely to demonstrate how they were put together. I think I'll leave you to your lesson. About time. Ah, uh, good. I wanted to talk with you. How are you able to use the remnant? With an artificial intelligence that helps with analysis and translation. So that's the trick. I wouldn't have guessed. Angara, who live close to remnant technology, sometimes learn how to use specific tech. It requires intense concentration, and even if we can make it work, we've never understood how it works. So, some of you can use remnant tech, but you don't know how it works? Not all remnant tech, no. Like I said, specific pieces. Take Mithrava, for example. Some of us can operate the security that protects the sanctuary. The knowledge was passed down through generations. In my case, it took a year to learn how to open a simple door. The difference between knowing you can eat a tree's fruit and understanding why that tree bears fruit. What's your take on all this reincarnation stuff? You're asking if I believe? Yes, sure. Not the way Espos does. Got it. Looks like it might have been some kind of glove or gauntlet. Smash, though. Inside, studded with contacts. Could have been used for some kind of input. I wish we could study it instead of giving it to this Tavos person. You've killed men under my charge. And now you'll crown that achievement by killing me too. And you, I know your face. Why do you help these murderers? Riders and ally. She's already helped the scientists at Dar Palev. I know. And they should be ashamed. After all we've been through with the kit. Tell me why you come here, so I know why I've died. The sages on Mithrava think you could remember the location of the third monolith. Because you used to know where it is in a past life. The sages sent you. Those secretive pin brains with their scutting... They don't even care that their people are being enslaved and killed by Ket. My friends died for this? I'm just trying my best to find the third monolith and save Havaro. I have an artifact or heirloom or something. I'm going to set it down, and I need you to take hold of it. What? And? Is it doing something? It doesn't look like it. Wait. There are things like this in the museum on Aya. Ancient Angaran tech. This fits over a hand. Contacts on the inside for my electric control of... <gasps> what did you do to me? Are you all right? I know things. The underground monolith. I remember. Pain. Desperation. I need you to take me there. Please. If you do this, we can save Havaral. Together. You. You're an alien. I can't trust you. Then let me try to earn your trust. Please. Deep beneath the surface, but... But not far. Meet me here. These coordinates. I will guide you the rest of the way. Just... Let me compose myself first. Esmo says you have the soul of someone they call Zorai. Who's that? The Sages believe Zorai had rare knowledge of Remnant was alive when the Scourge came. When I was young, they came from Mithrava to speak with my mother. I tried to convince her that I possessed Zorai's spirit. They intended to take me with them. My mother ran them off. They never tried again. 
Now my mind is filled with images and impressions that aren't mine. Maybe the sages were right. Maybe they were. I suppose it's possible, after all we've seen in Helios already. Knowing why it happens won't help me sort through the feelings in my head. Why do you and the rest of the Rokar hate aliens so much? With everything the Ket have done, how can we not? If the Rokar discover I helped you, you will see me as a traitor. I'm sorry for everything the Ket have done. I don't need your apologies or your sympathy. Don't know how or why, but I need to help you find the monolith. Driven to work with you and yet detesting you. My head's a mess. Did you find anything about my sister? Pala was right. They documented everything. Your sister was moved across Havarl. This data drive should have the specifics. Thank you. With all this information, I could see Amara again. But the thought of leaving frightens me. This is my home. If I leave, I abandon my duties. What if I never get to come home again? Everyone gets scared. It passes. Amara's your sister. And home is often a person, and not a place. I will swallow my fear. Thank you for this. For helping an old man. It's here. I just have to. It helps if I steal my mind. I've been here before. Familiar. One, two, three indentations. Palm here. It worked. Wow. Building machines exhaust me. Mind and body must be engaged wholly or the attempt fails. I can't stop. Without the monoliths, the vault fails. Without the vault, the planet dies. I'm close. Just one more. This siege has got it wrong. Zorai was a woman. That, that was a voice. My voice. May I have this, Pathfinder? It's yours. It's always been yours. It's done. You finished with Zora I could not so long ago. I'm sorry, Tavos. No, there's nothing to be sorry about. She didn't complete what she set out to do. But she didn't fail. The two monoliths she reactivated kept Haval going. Without them, the planet would have died. Go on to the vault, Pathfinder. I think I'll stay here a moment. I have a lot to think about. Pathfinder Rider, you have done something remarkable here today. Succeeded where Zorai failed. Esmos, what are you doing down here? Renewing old bonds. Talking to you was enlightening. I saw an alien working for us when we had given up. We have isolated ourselves for too long. Perhaps there is a balance we can find. We all need to find balance, I think. Tavos, I wasn't expecting to see you. I've learned a lot in a short time. The Rokar wants simple solutions, but nothing is ever simple or certain, is it? I wish those that were killed could have realized this. But after everything I've seen, I have to hope that they aren't lost forever. This curious memory transfer. Reincarnation. Whatever it might be, I aim to devote resources to studying it. Maybe one day we'll find the truth buried deep within our superstitions. That was kind of heartwarming to see. There has been healing today, Havaro. The rifts between my people, and you're to thank. There is some space here at Dar Pelev, and we'll need extra hands to monitor Havaro's situation. Will you extend an invitation to your people? We'd welcome anyone who can help. I'll pass it along. Then I'll leave you. I have some numbers to analyze, 
Can you believe it? For the first time in years, they excite me. Pathfinder, then. Dr. McIntyre, from the Nexus. Ryder, welcome to Havarl. She'll be more welcoming now that you put the vault back on track. The Angara invited us to monitor plant growth and study ruins out in the jungle. It's the chance of a lifetime. Be careful around those monoliths. There might be more stasis fields. We think they only affect Angara, but who knows? Oh, we know. Make no mistake. I have a check-in system ready. Whether young Farley remembers it when he's chasing butterflies is another matter. What does your team do here? Zera is our botanist. She'll be minding the plants and designing an artificial habitat for them. She also happens to be an engineer. Uh, sorry. One profession's never enough. Then there's young Farley. Easier for the insects. And you? I'm the Xenoanthropologist. A fancy word for talking to the Angara about those ruins. And listening. I imagine you've spoken to Kieran Dolls already. She's the one who invited us, aye. Fussed over us something terrible. But she's a fine lady, and hopefully a good colleague down the road. I plan to listen to her. You know how Tavos found the monolith, right? Reincarnated memories? Aye, I heard. One for the textbooks. You believe him? But you're a scientist. Asari share thoughts and memories. Prothean text speaks in visions. Those are scientific facts. There's more to people than what can go under a microscope glass. The reports didn't do this world justice. It's... ethereal. Director Addison, I imagine you have concerns that we haven't placed a full outpost? Frankly, it's impressive you weren't covered in vines on landing. Given the planet's significance to the Angara, it's appropriate that we assist, but not place an outpost. After the Ked and what they've seen of the Exiles, we had to be at our best. We've had precious few examples of that. Pathfinder might be getting close. Havarl helps. Outpost or not, we're gaining. We need another, but we're gaining. It's promising, and a lot of people have noticed. I still need your voice. Something they can think about instead of an outpost flag. We came here as pioneers, but we're not the only ones in Helios. And that means even better discoveries. On Havarl, we can work together. First contact doesn't end, and it isn't someone else's job. It's here. Into the books, Pathfinder. At us now. Leaving Havarl. Bridge is yours, Pathfinder.